Hello everybody. So again, I'm doing another does it work for oily skin video. This one, I'll be honest, I really, really want to try this product, but I was just like, eh, it's a pressed powder. Is it really going to be enough to test for oily skin? But I'm just going to do it and I'll give you a few like reviews on a few other new products that I'm doing at the same time. How's that? That way we get a whole lot of information in one video, not just one product. So this is my series where I test products on my very, very, very oily skin for you guys because I just want to see if they hold up to their claims. Today we are testing out the Cover FX Perfect Pressed Powder. I actually felt this in the store one day at Sephora. It's got this super silky, just beautiful feeling on like when I swatched it. So let me tell you what it says right on the box. It says a natural matte second skin finish with its ultra clean, ultra creamy, silky smooth formula that blends luxuriously into skin. It creates a blurring effect to refine appearance of skin and helps brighten skin tone with kiwi water. Ideal for normal, oily, and combination skin. So there you go. It should be ideal for me. What do you think about that? So as always, I'm going to be testing things out with other products, primers, foundations, concealers that are my tried and true holy grail. That way I know if something weird is happening on my face that it's not because of those other things because I know exactly how those perform. So I'm already um, primed and I'm just going to put on my foundation. Today I'm going to use my Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour, 15 hour wear hydrating foundation in the shade 1.2. And I got this little guy that I thought we would just test out together. This is the L'Oreal Blend Artist Infallible Foundation Blender. So first of all, when I just ran this under the tap and you know, got it wet, it's got a really like really nice bouncy feel to it. So I'm, I've got high hopes for this. So let's see how this works out. It is a little bit big, you know, like a beauty blender is a little bit more thin in the way it comes down. It kind of fits in there a little bit better, I think. But if I squeeze it, it's fine. So, and if I squeeze it, I can get into like the contour of my nose. But you guys, this feels just like a complete beauty blender dupe. So this is awesome because this is gonna save money over having to buy the actual real beauty blender. Okay, I almost forgot. Before we play with the actual powder, I also wanted to include this in the video because this is the Cover FX, their new um, loose powder. It's called, what is the actual name? Perfect Setting Powder. This is in the shade Translucent Light. So I have been using this already to set my under eye and I honestly am not 100% on how I like it. Um, that's why I wanted to kind of put it in this video because I'm doing an all day wear test. I'll be paying a lot more attention today to whether I like it or not. So I have my little Kat Von D brush, which I've been kind of liking for setting things under the eye. So because I can't really bake, this is such a tiny little thing. I'm just putting a heavy amount of powder right on my brush and kind of like heavily putting it there and then I'll kind of wipe it away later. It's not as much as I would put if I was actually baking, but it's still more than uh, just a regular amount. So I did just pull up the um, product page on Sephora for this product. I just wanted to see if there was anything else information wise that we should know. It does come in three shades. I have the shade light. It comes in medium and deep. Um, next to the colors on the website, it tells you like the shade range. So if you have a Cover FX foundation already, you'll know which one is right for you. I don't, so I just had to guess. So that's why I picked light. I bet that medium probably would have been okay for me too. And it's $40 Canadian. Um, it does say that it's talc free. So, and the reason, I thought this was interesting. It says, it is 100% free of talc, so it provides a skin perfecting airbrush effect that doesn't appear cakey or chalky. So that's a claim there that we will test out today. I'm going to use my e.l.f. complexion brush because this is just such a good brush for picking up the perfect amount of powder and dispersing it evenly all over the face. It does come with a little powder puff. This is actually kind of more like a velvety, spongy thing. Um, but we're not going to use that. We're going to use a brush. One thing I don't like about this Cover FX line, line of like compacts, and I have my highlighter that I love in the same compact, 
this is just really cheap packaging. You would think for the price that you would get a little bit nicer packaging, it's like plasticky. Um, it does have a mirror though, so I guess that's a bonus if you're out and about, right? Yeah, it has a super, super silky texture. That's probably because it doesn't have any talc in it, right? So let's just apply it to the face. We probably won't be able to see anything right now, but as the day goes on, if you're familiar with my channel, you know how my skin gets. It gets oily after about three hours, and then by the end of the night, usually it's very oily again. So as we go throughout the day, if I do have to repowder, I will definitely hop back on the camera and we'll do it together. It's also not kicking up a bunch of excess product. Um, a lot of pressed powders I found will do that. And the only downside to that really is that you're just wasting the product. So for something expensive, it's good that it doesn't do that. So initial application wise, just giving it a little soft touch. I don't feel like it feels as matte as some of my other powders. It definitely feels very silky though. So that's cool. So we will um, brush away this powder under our eyes now. So I hope you can see it is exactly 10 o'clock. That's when the powder went on my face. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and come right back. Okay, I'm back. So I have all my makeup on now. I don't feel like my bronzer and blush blended like better on top of this powder or anything like that. In fact, I kind of feel like my bronzer was a little bit difficult to blend today, which I don't know how this is looking. It's looking a little splotchy to me. Um, so that I'm not so sure about, and I'm wondering if that's because there is n like no talc in it and you still get a little bit of a, not sticky, but it doesn't feel like it's completely set down. Do you know what I mean? So, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see though throughout the day. So I will check in with you shortly. Okay, so it's uh, one o'clock and three hours is usually about the time that I'm gonna start getting oily and today's no exception. So I've got a blotting sheet here. So you could see, yeah. It's not really doing anything to keep me matte at all. Um, so I don't really know why it would be like specifically geared towards comboed oily skin people. It's really not a mattifying powder at all. It's a nice finish, like I'll give it that for sure, and I will reapply it, but it's definitely like my oil is coming through. <laughs> so I'm just going to reapply it, and then I'll kind of show you a close up. I'm just using my viewfinder to reapply it with. I'm just gonna keep it in the T zone for the most part because that's where most of my oil is, although I get oily all over my face, but. T-zone is the majority of it. Okay, so let's do a little bit of a close-up. It did say it would blur. I don't know, I think my pores are really showing pretty nicely. <laughs> so, not really sure how it's blurring. Now as for the under eye setting powder, just to give you an idea, do you see under my eye? Yeah, it is definitely like in the fine lines, right? And over here. So it's like it's a nice under eye setting powder. My, my under eyes, they feel soft, like they don't feel dry or anything like that. Um, it's just right in the lines where it's really creasing. So mm, like, this is why I'm so torn over this powder. Like I really like the way it feels feels really nice, but then it gathers super badly in those fine lines. So I'm not really sure about it. It's okay. I kind of want to love it because it feels so good around the rest of my eye, but 
yeah, in those lines, it's just not, it's not doing great. It is 625, so I have had this on for eight and a half hours. So I have a few thoughts. Uh, let's just start out with this. I think it's a really good product. It's a really nice powder. I don't think it's made for oily skin. And I have to make notes throughout the day, otherwise I won't remember everything. So as you saw, I did blot and repowder a couple times throughout the day. The last time was two hours ago. You can see I am very glowy right now again. Um, when you do repowder this, the finish after repowdering really does look beautiful and it looks smooth. I don't think that it fills in your pores, but it does give you that kind of, you know, not, you don't look like you have a ton of powder in your face. So I think that's a really good thing. Um, I don't look cakey. That was one of their claims, even though I've repowdered twice so far today. So I've a total of three times putting this on my face. There's no cakiness at all. And the one thing I thought was weird, I was reading about this product on the Sephora website. And on the Sephora website, it talks about um, kind of being more for dry skin people. And I'm just so confused because right on the packaging from Cover FX, it definitely didn't say dry skin. It definitely said normal combo and oily. So that is just confusing me. I thought I would just throw that in there. Um, it also said on the website that it doesn't add weight or texture, and I think that's definitely true. It also said that it has an airbrushed finish. When I think of airbrushed finish, I definitely think I'm more like filling in pores, and I don't really think this has filled in pores. It just looks, you know, it doesn't look cakey and it doesn't look um, very powdery. Normally when I repowder throughout the day, I'm going to be using either my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder or my e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. And both of those are awesome products for oily skin, but they do leave that kind of powdery look behind. So what I do is I'll repowder and then I'll just lightly spritz with like a MAC Fix Plus or some other kind of hydrating um, setting spray, which will kind of give you that, you know, your skin look and it doesn't look like powder. It just kind of melds your makeup all back together. And it doesn't, you know, it doesn't add to oiliness or anything. And I think that's kind of just, what this does do you know what i mean like this doesn't mattify at all so it's not like those other powders in that respect but you don't have to use setting spray after using this it just kind of gives you that look so i hope that makes sense so all in all i think it's a very beautiful powder i love the texture of it i think it's very nice but i don't think it's made for oily skin people. In regard to the under eye setting powder nothing has changed since before when i kind of talked to you guys about it you know it just I have these like, it's almost making my lines look deeper right in here, but the rest of my under eye looks really nice and it still doesn't feel dry or anything like that. So I still don't really know how I feel about it. I kind of like it and I, I think what I'll do is just play with a bunch more concealers and see, you know, if there's any concealers that work really well with it. So far I've just been using my Estee Lauder one, which is my holy grail, but it just doesn't seem to be working perfectly with that powder. So I will probably give you guys an update on that in the future. 
But all in all, that is it. I hope that you found this review valuable, that you got some good information and you can decide whether you want to purchase this or not. Um, I do have more information down in my description bar below, so check that out. And that is it for today. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to see you around in my future videos. Give this video, give this video, blah, 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 and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That really helps me out a lot. I hope you're having a great day today, and I'll see you around in my next video. Bye, guys.